the SE Electronics V7 and uh, V7X. I haven't had the chance to use these with uh, many people, as you can imagine, because of the situation. And I've done an unboxing, so I just remind you a bit of that. It comes in a nice box, some instructions, and you know you get this spare foam and a clip, and everything's fine. The box is very nice. So check the unboxing if you want to see that. As you can see, next to um, 58 and 57, which I guess are going to be the ones people are putting them up against, you get some idea of the size. This is a V7. Beautiful to say, I think the 58 is a little bit heavier. Uh, I think possibly the 57 is a little bit heavier, but as I say, um, not much in it. We'll just have a look at... Uh, I'll tell you how I came by these. There's a gentleman called uh, Aaron, who's got a very low voice, lower than mine. And I don't know, we got to exchanging some things, and he mentioned this, actually. And um, we'll have a look at the plots in a while. In the unboxing, I think I showed it to you. And it does seem to go low. What, um, what I was interested in, I feel nice, is that... Um, you know, I'm thinking it's 2021. Surely, come on. We can do something with dynamic mics, with all the advances in materials. Surely, we can do something that's not just a copy of this 1969 model. Anyway, I'll leave that till later. Um, just look at them a bit close. You've done this already, but I'll just I'll show you some things I noticed as well. I think I mentioned before that actually all nicely done and you can see that quite clearly I think if I can get my finger in the right place that there's a uh, yeah quite some suspension there you can change the foam for the red one as you probably know and I think I mentioned before that the foam in the in the uh, v7 is thicker than the foam in the V7X. It actually renders the V7X unsuitable for vocals, I found. We'll see later. And again, you can see the suspension there. They are marked differently. Let's see if I can get them in the right place. Well, DMC7X and DMC7. Both aluminium voice cord, you can see. Patented design, it says, neodymium magnet, or it just says neodym. Maybe they're out of space, or maybe it's called that as well. And um, there's a 7X, as I noted before, that the 7, that does fit on the 7X. So that I'm going to try out, because the pop resistance on this one with a smaller foam isn't sufficient, I found, for vocals, as you'll find out. What the manufacturer says, don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, I'm going to put them back the right way. No, I've lost one of them. No, I haven't. Which is which? Yeah. Oh, well, the manufacturer says, uh, this is about the V7. The manufacturer says, all metal, zinc alloy chassis. What's it say? Oh, dent proof, spring steel grill, beveled edge. Stops it rolling. It does. This one more so, because you can see. Got uh, larger flats, whole thing's larger. Super cardioid, both of them. Neodymium magnets, patented shock mount. With the VX, what does it say? Again, specialised capsule, aluminium voice call, much the same. It says with the VX, full bandwidth, instrumental reinforcement and recording. And that's about it. Very nice, no complaints really. The price, what is the price? I think I saw somebody doing it for 72 in England. This one, I think this one's a little bit more, I'm not sure, around about the mid 70s. Gold plated pins apparently. Whilst I'm here, let's do it. I've got a Neutrik, is that a Neutrik? Nope. I think it is, it's an old one, let me use a modern one. 
Whoa. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what I like. And it's not going to rattle around. That's the, the V7. I don't expect this to be any different, but we'll try the V7X. Well, if that's anything to go by with the engineering, I'd say that the fit on both of these, the barrel's not the same, I don't think. Not up there, it isn't. Could be down there. Anyway, the fit on both of them was very consistent, the feel and the amount I had to push and the way it snapped. So if that's anything to go by, and why shouldn't it be these days? Okay, I think we'll get on with the, uh, the frequency. So I'm going to get rid of the camera from up here so I can sit down and be comfortable and uh, go through the usual stuff. Well, I've leveled the uh, microphones up. I've got the VX, the V7, the V7X, SM58 plugged in, and this, which is for me to speak on, so the uh, 57 isn't plugged in. It's mainly about the two SEs, but obviously I'm imagining people are going to wonder, they're going to compare them to the 58 and the 57, I'd have thought. Uh, maybe that's a bit unfair in that, can't we forget about those two, but it's not going to happen. I tell you, it's not going to happen. I've had some experiences recently. It's just not going to happen. So there we go. So bearing that in mind, I've leveled everything up, which means nothing. Usually I have to change it, but there we go. I've got the charts are going to appear on screen, you've seen them before, for the V7 and the V7X from the unboxing perhaps, but for those of you that haven't, you can see them there and the 58 and the 57 beneath. Uh, they've been stretched out somewhat, so uh, anyway. So look at the V7, two humps up the top there, down, not very much at 20, where's the zero? At 20 uh, kilohertz, not down much. Uh, going to the other way, flat through the middle, starts dropping off around 150. Yeah, proximity trace you can see there. So compared to the V7X, you see the V7X hasn't got, it's got a hint of a more of a plateau at the top, which we've discussed before, comparing it to the M88. Does well up to 20 kilohertz, but look of it. Stays stronger through down to about just above 100, and then starts to drop off, but it's got the proximity trace there. So pretty flat for the V7X, and it's pretty extended by the look of it. And you can see there the SM58, you've all seen that a thousand times before, and the 57. Bear in mind on the offshore website it says that the capsule for the 58 and the 57 are the same, and that any differences are due to the grill and the fact that you can get closer to the diaphragm from the shorter grill. But also the grill hasn't got foam and it's slightly different material and shape and stuff like that. They say the capsule is the same, and you can see it's broadly similar, the 58 and the 57. Whereas you can see that the V7 and the V7X are rather more different in their um, their uh, frequency response. Yeah, so we we'll go straight from this to the V7. Now I'm on the V7. Now I'm on the V7. What do I notice? I notice a bit of that handling there. It's very low. I'm on the V7. V7. Do I need to? I think I do. V7. I'm going to take it up just a little bit. I'm on the V7. I'm on the V7. S -s 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 yeah, I noticed that shape. A <laughs> little bit of that there. I noticed that shape shh, at the top. But it seems um, quite smooth and gentle. Quite smooth and gentle. Let me bring it in a bit. Seems quite smooth and gentle. Seems quite smooth and gentle. Seems quite smooth and gentle. Move it away a bit. Seems quite smooth and gentle. Drops off quite considerably. Um, that's a tends to be a trait of dynamic mics. If I move straight from that to the SM58, this is the SM58, this is the SM... I notice that more on the SM58 at the top there. So it's almost as if there's something missing in the middle on the 58. Let me bring the 58 closer. I bring the 58 closer. On my voice in particular, it just doesn't really work with the 58. Going back between the 58 and the, uh, the V7, I'm back on the V7, I'm back on the V7, I'm back on the V7. Bringing the V7 in closer, bringing the V7 in closer, back on the 58. He's got a little bit of that going on there. Um, let me move to the V7X. That's what uh, I don't like that. Let me move to the V7X. Back on the Icon Pro just for a mo, whilst I sort myself out. And moving to the V7X. Oh, this, oh, the desk, man. 
I know what you're thinking, buy a new desk. But I find it difficult to throw this away after just over two years. But I'm going to have to. We'll give it to someone. Everything's going with it. The trim pots, that now the, the, the tone pots, which I don't use, cut out, so it cuts the signal out. And, and now, now the mute buttons, sometimes cutting the signal out. Oh, my God. Sorry. Okay. This is, uh, ooh, this is uh, the V7X. This is the V7X. Less of that at the top. Got to be careful because of the extended bass with the handling noise. Go between the V7X and the V7. This is the V7. This is the V7. This is the V7X. This is the V... Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can hear that on the V7X. Move the V7X away a bit. Ah, 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 ah. V7. Ah, 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 ah. It's quite nicely done. It's still there. The weight on the low end. But I prefer that. But you can hear as I'm laughing. Ooh. You've got to be careful with that. So what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do is swap the tops later, but I'm going to go through a couple of the other things first. I'll leave that till the end. Just out of interest, the 58. In doing all that, this seems to be more open, the V7 to me. So now I'm, now I'm back on the 58, now I'm back on the 58, now I'm back, let me clear my voice. <coughs> no, I made it worse. <coughs> now I'm back on the 58, now I'm back on the 58, now I'm back on the 58, now I'm back on the V7, now I'm back, it's, yeah, it's the, more, the more I get used to it, I haven't used it as much as I'd have liked, it's more open. So it, it's kind of got a bit of what I was banging on about just there really, that things have moved forward a bit. Yeah. And I'm sure they've been very careful not to move forward too much or change too much because uh, it's a difficult uh, place to get a foothold for many reasons. I'm going to do a video on that, as I say. Now what? Oh, yeah, okay, then let's do all the, the poppy things. You've got an idea of all that's enough of that. Uh, I've got the hum and tone test. Do I still do that? Is that still useful? I'll just do it anyway. I'll do the own first. <coughs> um. The X. So that's the ohm. 
breath on the um V7. Fifty eight. V seven. Reverb off. Fifty eight. Yeah, sure. Um, more, more transparent. Uh, Icon Pro just for something. Peace. Mm-hmm. X. Yeah, oh, but you could hear the wind noise you've got to be careful with, and not not too much accentuation as you can hear there. Back on the um, V7. Here's some tone, done that pops, S is done that's his breath. Proximity, polar response. So just do the pops and the polar response then. You can hear that handling noise there. If I do a... <laughs> I don't touch anything on this desk, man. But <laughs> what the heck. Let's, if I take the, the shelving off, you can hear what it's like. It's not bad. Of course, with any mic that's going low, you're going to get that, so don't play with it. If it's on a stand on a rumbly stage, you're stuffed. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. 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 It's okay. Uh, oh, I know another one I've discovered is this as well. Uh, you shouldn't do this with condensers probably because they don't like moisture. But these tough dynamics should handle it. I noticed it's kind of. Fifty-eight for comparison, because we know fifty-eight is pretty good with all this kind of stuff. Generally, I found. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Of course, it didn't go so low. Peter Piper picked, but V seven. Who do you think you're fooling? 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 Being clumsy. 57. Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? Well controlled on the 57. Who do you think you're fooling? Perhaps a bit noisier on the on the um on the V7. Going on to the V7X now. I've got to be careful. Watch your headphones, or I'm going to watch mine. Instrument mic, of course. Hmm. I'm always scared to do it. <laughs> Peter, 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 you can't do it. No. All right, instrument mic. So I'm going to swap my heads over later, and then we'll see. That's what kind of what I'm interested in, actually. Polar response, meant to be super cardioid, both of them. Here we are on axis. Here we are on axis, coming round to the side, 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 just starting there. Coming round to the side, coming round to the side, coming round to the side, starting to reject quite a lot there, quite serious rejection. That's very good, isn't it? Coming round to the back, coming round to the back, coming round to the back, and there's the the, the lobe for the uh, supercardioid or the hypercardioid business round the back there. Coming back round to the side, coming back round to the side, very good rejection indeed. Coming round to the front there, coming round, quite a, a benign sound as well to my ears. So anything it does pick up at the side there's going to be um, fairly natural sounding. Coming round to the front, coming round to the front, taking it a bit further away, taking it a bit further away, proximity. Ha, 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 ha. Quite smooth, quite impressive. Hold on to your horses. What am I doing? Oh, this. This is it on the front. This is it. Yeah, smoother, isn't it? This is it on the front. This is on the front. The V7X coming around to the side, coming around to the side, coming around to the side, and again, roughly the same place as much as I can remember. 
a fair bit more goes lower of course so a fair bit more rumbling noise i've got to watch my breath coming round to side coming round to side coming round to side there's a rejection good rejection a bit more ooh, 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 in the low end there because it goes lower coming round to the back there coming round to the back there we've got a bit of leakage coming round to the back coming round to the side rejection again S side rejection side rejection side rejection is it me or is there a bit more S -s 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 in the other might be because there's less foam coming round the on the front and again fairly benign I'd say in terms of the the sound of it induced noise I didn't hear any so the, the old desk would sometimes um, the old desk would sometimes cause mics to hum the new desk doesn't it just <laughs> it doesn't cause the mics to hum it just doesn't work half the time let me see then. Off you come. Mein Liebchen. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. So this is the V7X. Yeah. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Who do you think you're fooling? 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 You think you're fooling? So I think that does it. 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 I think that I think that does it. I think that I think that does it. I think that does it. I think that does it. I think that I think that I think that does it. I think that 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 it I think that it I think that it does it. I think that does it. I think that does it. I think that does it. Do I like it? I think I like it. I think I like it. Am I going to go and get my Bayer M88? Am I going to go and get my Bayer M88? I can feel it coming on. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I can feel it coming on. Am I going to go and get my Bayer M88? Am I going to go and get my Bayer M88? Am I going to go and get my Bayer M88? Am I going to get... Before I do that, I'm going to loosen this, and I'm just going to swap between them with this, just both of them with this top on, just so we can hear something. Okay, now, bear in mind to facilitate this, I've had to unscrew this so it's sitting a little bit higher, and then I'm going to have to cut the video, because it's going to be a hell of a lot of din, as you can imagine, as I swap them about. Let me get rid of the reverb. This is the V7X with the this is the V7X with the V7 top. 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 This is the V7 with the V7 top. This is the V7 with its own V7 top. This is the V7 with its own V7 top. This is the V7 with its own V7 top. V7X with the V7 top. This is the V7X with the V7 top. This is the V7X. If you don't want so much of that low end, you just move it away a little bit. This is the V. So I'm going to go and get the M88. Look, it's got to be done. Excuse me. M88. V7 top. V7 top. <laughs> so, this is the V7X with the V7 top. 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 I'm going to go down lower a little bit. This is the V7X with the V7 top. This is the M88. This is the M88. This is the M88. This is the M88. It's an old one. It's a span. I got it from Spain. I got it from Spain. I got it from Spain, this old M88. I got it from Spain, this old M88. I didn't get this from Spain, this V7X. I didn't get this from Spain. What the V7X has got a little bit more there. That's fine. I'm going down. Give me some vibe. I'm going down. I'm going down with the V7X. I'm going down with the V7X. I'm going down with the M88. I'm 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88. Not the 88, 88, not the 88. Similar, but there's a different flavour, isn't it? Well, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. 
<laughs> I, I run, yeah. I'm a little bit surprised. Um, sorry, it's so long, but I was having a bit of fun and exploring myself as I go. I'll, I'll, I'll do some more and I'll come up with anything else. Go, I was like, yeah, yeah. So actually, I was a little bit disappointed. I tell you the truth, when I first got, I just played around with it. Thought, here we go again. Here we go. This shape, that shape, the other shape. Fiddle about. No, no, no. Nothing really that much. Da da da. da. But I misjudged a little too. You know, that's why you got to spend so much, a lot of time. And I haven't used them with um other other students as well. So it's all been very different this time from the amount I normally do. So um, and I would say, you know what? It seems fast to me. Thankfully, why not? If that one, if this one was sixty-two, come on. So it seems fast to me. I prefer this one with this uh, top on it, so it can be used for a vocal. That's the V7X. I do like the V7 as well, and most people perhaps wouldn't need that. The the Maybe they do want a bit of that push, and maybe they don't need the, the element down there that I like to use when I'm playing around. But even as I'm doing that, even, even as I'm doing that, I'm beginning to think, even as I'm doing that, oh yes, there's a little bit, it's a gentle push, but it seems fast to me as well. Seems fast. I'm going to go on the Icon Pro. To, uh, just to give our ears a rest from that. To give our ears a rest from that. Well. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleasantly uh, uh, surprised. And pleasantly because I was hoping for it. I've been looking for it for a long time and I think it's done it I think I think it's uh they haven't stepped too far away from an old faithful which might cause problems and you've got to make money you've got to sell haven't you it's very difficult so they haven't stepped too far away from that it is modern to my ears thank heavens it's a dynamic that's that's to me sounds faster and both, both of them, good. I'm sure this would make a, a fine instrument mic. Um, I'm tempted to leave that. I might get in touch with um, SE Electronics and see how much it costs to buy a, a spare V7 head. Oh, can you? No, I was going to do the SM57, but I've done the 58-57 comparison. Check that out. If you've heard the 58, you've pretty much heard the 57. So... Um, uh, yeah, good, good quality. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very, uh, very, very pleased with that. I was, uh, I was getting a bit grumpy and being prepared to be a bit miserable, but uh, I'm very pleased. So you've heard them. From what I've seen, I can thoroughly recommend them. Uh, I don't know what more to say, really. Just great, very nice. Well done, SE Electronic. I don't know anything about you, and thank you for various people mentioning that I should. Uh, give him a go. So now, at last, I've got an inexpensive microphone I can recommend to people. Yeah, that's current. <laughs>